This is the Livestraw Peak Series Squeeze Filtration System. Now this is the first time uh, using it on this trip that we're on. It's uh, pretty much a squeeze bottle, right? It seems to be really rugged material. It's got the filter inside, which you can actually remove and add to a different uh, bottle. Uh, so this is pretty much how you use it. You wanna get the squeeze bottle. Uh, look for obviously a water source, preferably not water that's been sitting. Uh, this this river here, uh, Bridal, it's the Bridal, Bridal Vale Creek uh, stream. So the water's running right, uh, water looks pretty clean. So while the filter's already screwed onto the tip of the bottle, you wanna fill the, the squeeze bottle. Now what I'm just trying to do is trying to make sure I don't get any dirty water on the tip of the filter just because uh, I don't want to be drinking dirty water. I mean, I don't know what might be in it, any type of bacteria or viruses. Uh, now that you screw the cap back on, now you can either, once you screw it on nice and tight, you can either go ahead and filter your water by either already just sucking on the, on the system in itself. Water's pretty good, nice and fresh. And actually, it has a good water flow. So what I'm actually gonna be doing, I, I already had a different water bottle ready and I'm gonna fill my water bottle. Look, we've got some good stream of water coming out. Since the filter is pretty long on the inside, it comes a point where the water gets too low that the water is not able to go through the filter. I guess that's gonna be one of the downsides of this bottle because you'll have to refill it because the filter is so so big now i believe reading the instructions that you can actually use a filter and screw it onto a different different bottle a regular standard water bottle and you can use that on the uh on the outside so it might be a little easier but today i'll just be showing this this method and as you guys can see like the water i mean this bottle was clean earlier the water seems pretty clear it's pretty good Pretty good water. The only other thing I would probably usually use on a water, you know, water source that's not running like this one, I'll probably use a like a sock-like material or like a mesh, uh, mesh-like material like what you use on uh, coffee, so you can clear any of the other sand, dirt, or debris that's in the water. Uh, that way, it filters it a little better. At least the bigger, the bigger stuff that you want to get rid of, you don't want to end up in the water. It says it filters 500. Uh, gallons. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I don't think I'll ever get to filter so much on this filter. But after using it multiple times, it actually comes with a syringe uh, that you can actually clean it once you're done with it. And if you're going to store it more than 30 days, it actually has uh, the directions on how to, you know, make a saline solution of water and salt. And then you kind of uh, clean the filter, how to properly clean the filter and store it. And when it's probably the best time to change your filter. That's the uh, filtered water from the live straw peak squeeze. Now, if you guys are still skeptical about any mi uh, microorganisms left in the water, uh, please, you know, still boil the water uh, for extra safety. That way you guys get a little bit more peace of mind. If you guys have any questions, comments, write them down below. Thanks for watching.